Uh, over the course of my career, I've been fired 11 times from various jobs. And uh, at first I justified it by saying, you know, was the manager didn't like me or the corporate culture was downside, you know, whatever. But eventually you have to, I had to, I do, I recognize that I'm the, I'm the common denominator there. And what was I doing uh, wrong or what was I doing that, that caused this outcome so much? And um, it took me a long time to get there, self-examiningly, uh, honestly, <clears throat> uh, I made a lot of poor choices with unhealthy escapist behavior. Uh, went to therapy, went to a life coach, did a lot of stuff. But, okay, that's an example of something. I just made that up, right? So that's uh, a fictional story, but it's a story where the dialogue helps the audience see me hopefully as vulnerable because I'm admitting a, a failure, huge failure of my own part. You can use some of these delivery techniques, however, regardless of what you're talking about, such as this morning, I had a bagel for breakfast and the, um, the cream cheese was probably a little old, so it was, it was crumbly when I took it out of the fridge and it wasn't uh, the consistency that I prefer. So, you know, I, um, I ate it and it was, it was fine. So without, I'm not encouraging anybody to be inauthentic. That's me acting, but I'm, I'm putting it on a little bit to show some sorts of, you know, markers of vulnerability. The, to me, it's the slower pace of my voice. It's a little bit of that hesitation, um, eye contact, and, and a little bit of shame. So throwing away the eye contact from the camera, um, a, a trill in your voice a little bit. And I don't want anybody to mechanically try to put these on, but this is an attempt uh, to show sort of the techniques of vulnerability, some of the physicality and vocality that might help you uh, prime yourself when you're practicing your truly uh, honest and authentic vulnerable story.